<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, there comes a time where you just have to throw your hands up. Insofar as content for this channel and pretty much YouTube at large, even with my backup channel, I'm throwing in the towel because I found something that was um, asked of me to find on this site and you know what? Let's back up a little bit. On my backup channel, RPM The Gray Man, I recently put up a video called Obesity is Not Healthy Nor Beautiful. And on that particular video, I put up a thumbnail of a waifu in workout gear. However, that thumbnail got taken down and the video got a strike. For what? Nudity slash sexual content. Now, of course, I talked about it over on MGTOW.TV and I was directed to a particular comment. I'm not going to say the commenter's name, but he asked me to search up a certain term over on YouTube. So when I searched this particular term up and what I found and the fact that this is still up and allowed and getting videos, I decided to just throw my hands up. Now, I actually found an article which was published on the 11th of December. People are uploading quote unquote naked yoga videos to YouTube, skirting content guidelines by calling the content quote unquote educational. Yes, gentlemen. Yes. There is full blown nudity on this platform. Several YouTube channels have sprung up over the past two months that post clips of naked women practicing yoga. Searching quote unquote naked yoga on YouTube brings up a lot of results, all of which seem to be old videos that have been re-uploaded by people who didn't make them. I can yes, agree with that. However, the fact that these videos are remaining on this platform, even though they're quote unquote age restricted. Yeah. Mm -mm. The channels seem to get around YouTube's content guideline by labeling the videos as quote unquote educational. Some have disclaimers asking viewers not to report them. A search on YouTube will bring up many videos of clips of women practicing yoga in the nude. And of course, they talk about the same thing. However, here is the rub. YouTube's content policy around nudity and sexual content state quote unquote, explicit content meant to be Sexually gratifying is not allowed on YouTube. Wait a minute. So what they're trying to say is this is some sort of artwork. Um, yeah, no, 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 sorry. I literally watched 
a woman doing full blown yoga in the nude, everything out there. So insofar as the quote unquote age restriction, come on now, somebody can always put an appropriate age in their profile. So miss me with the whole think about the children argument. Mm -mm. Posting pornography may result in content removal or channel termination, according to the guidelines on the website. Unless you are reviewing um, sex toys, which there is a actual sex toy review channel. But of course, we know why those channels are still allowed to exist. Videos containing fetish content will be removed or age restricted. In most cases, uh, excuse me, in most cases, violent, graphic, or humiliating fetishes are not allowed on YouTube. And also um, videos speaking the truth about society as a whole and women in general. The channels dedicated to naked yoga seem to get around these guidelines by labeling the videos as educational. Yes, I know I keep repeating that. However, there is a method to my madness. This is naked yoga and it means to be health and fitness and education, says one disclaimer at the beginning of a video. No need to take action about YT community guideline policies. Why not? After publication, a YouTube spokesperson told Insider the platform, quote unquote, has clear policies that outline what content is not acceptable to post and we quickly remove videos violating these policies when flagged to us. We make exceptions for material with sufficient EDSA, educational, documentary news, scientific, or artistic value. They said, the videos that Insider flagged are in violation of our nudity and sexual content policies and have been removed. Wait a minute. Educational. Hmm. So by speaking the truth about, you know, society, would that not be a form of education? Oh, that's right. That's wrong education. Got it. Got it. So therein is where I finally throw my hands up. In so far as content creation, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> if full blown nudity can be allowed on this platform, and let's just be perfectly honest, outright blatant misandry, you know what? They can have their echo chamber. I'm going to go over and stay over on MGTOW.TV. BitChute's been kind of iffy with the upload, but I'm willing to give them another chance. But yeah, primarily MGTOW.TV. So the future of this channel, RPM, nothing more then support for other content creators with commentary and occasional, you know, super chats. Beyond that, I'm pretty much done with content over here. RPM the gray man, you know, once that channel's out of YouTube jail, I think I'm going to put that one in cold storage too. But yeah, yeah, gentlemen, Full-blown nudity is allowed on this website, on this platform, and there's nothing being done about it. So, hey, it is what it is. As the bubbleheads say, and if you don't know what a bubblehead is, Navy slang for a submariner, run silent, run deep. Oh, well, ladies. Oh, well. 
You can have your echo chamber. You can have this society. But guess what? When the power eventually goes out and feminism goes out right along with it, guys like me are going to look back and tell you you're on your own. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM signing off.